system of module. So I said that I was going to basically show you how to create the software for uh, the for uh, this uh, this board. So uh, basically, the tool is already mentioned is the Engitam DSP uh, that comes to you as a virtual machine image in the VMware format. So if you are okay with using VMware, it's just plug and play. Otherwise, you can use VirtualBox, but you need the further configuration step that is mounting the image as an external hard drive in a virtual box. So still, anyway, very quick and very easy. Um, and you will be immediately running the virtual machine. And what you will do is to create a Linux operative system and uh, an SDK with it, that is the toolchain. And uh, I'm gonna explain better this concept in the following slide. But let me first introduce the, the main feature of uh, the Angicam BSP, that is the Opto. So uh, the Yopto project uh, basically uh, um, is a project that uh, um, tried to improve the development for embedded Linux system distribution. What does this mean? That um, it's not like general, it's not like when you're using general Linux distribution where you can actually install a general Linux distribution like Debian in your system of module. But then um, you're, you will use the package management system to, to customize the distribution. And uh, two things will happen. Basically, the, the packages that you're going to download will be the general, let's say, packages of that distribution. In the case of Yocto, uh, the sources of uh, those packages, uh, I mean, the, the URL for those packages will point to sources which are actually specific, a specific version of that package for the embedded. So you are actually creating an image with elements which are specific for um, package versions that are specific for embedded system. And the second thing that would happen is that you would customize your, your own image with the package management system and then the final image would just be on that machine with, uh, with Yocto. You create and you start to customize straight from the sources. So you basically um, configure the sources in a way that you perform a build and you have your final image. That is just a file that you can just install immediately in any number of machines you want. And uh, this, um, this approach gives you also another um, advantage, the, the, the approach of Yocto, that is the one that, had that, have, uh, that is having a great, a great range of uh, customization options. So you can either create a Linux operative system, an image tiny and light, suitable to run on a, a low performance machine, but uh, anyway, with the, all the packages inside, all the software for what you want that hardware to do. So, um, very, very, make it very efficient, let's say. And uh, at the same time, you can also create really complex images uh, able to, to run on higher performances CPU. And just one technical detail, what Yocto is doing as cross-compilation, because on, uh, on the virtual machine, on the, in the Angitam DSP, you will basically create, uh, uh, compile the software on an x86 architecture. But the, the architecture of the IAM x86 and plus is a normal architecture. So you're basically compiling an, um, some software on a host, which has uh, the host architecture, but the software will run on an ARP another architecture that is the one of the target. And this process is by definition called cross compilation. So it cannot be performed by the normal compilers that the compilers that you have on your x86 machine. It has to be performed by, um, by specific compilers called cross compilers. And uh, these are, uh, and the set of cross compilers is, that is a tool chain is created by Yocto. Um, to be more precise, it's actually created by BitBake, that is the tool of Yocto that take care about uh, the cross compilation. So, uh, how do you cross compile a single package? 
the Yocto sources uh, are made of uh, different folders. These folders are the meta layers. They start, their name start with the word meta. And uh, in each one of um, these directories, there will be a subfolder with uh, recipes. The recipes are these uh, files like this one, .bb files. And uh, the recipes basically have all the information that BigBake needs to have to um, compile a specific, that single package. So to each package of the, uh, that you can install in the operative system, there will be a recipe, a BigBake recipe. And inside the recipe, uh, BigBake will look for the source URL, first of all, that is the, basically the, the repository where it's going to download from uh, the sources. So the, these are all the protocols available and you can also store the sources on the local file system. So it's up to you. Then BitBake will eventually apply patches if required and uh, uh, we will check for dependencies. Inside the recipe there will be variable with a list of the dependencies which will be the packages that will be built by BitBake before the current recipe. So. When BitBake is compiling, I don't know, like in this example, the can test application, it downloads the sources, it applies the patches, then it look, then there is a variable that say that there is a dependency, I don't know, from one library. So it will first look for the, res the recipe for, of that library, it will compile it, and then it will come back to the current recipe, perform the configuration and the final compila compilation. So this is how it works for a single recipe that might be a single application that you want on, in your root file system. But how does it work if, of course, to, to create the whole image? To do that, you need to um, use other BitBake recipes which are uh, in the source, in the Yocto sources folder. And uh, these recipes are actually complete image recipes. This is an example, and you can see that image the recipes like this one has variables like the image installed append, which are actually a list of recipes names. So uh, compilation is very easy. You just have to uh, give to BitBake a complete image recipes. It will uh, look at the list of all the packages, and it will then do the patch of uh, do the, um, the download of the sources for each one of those packages as it's written in uh, the re respective uh, recipe. So, and uh, of course, at the end, uh, once it will have compiled all uh, all uh, those packages, it will just create uh, move the temporary directory, the work temporary directory, uh, into the root file system. That will be the one of the final image. So as already mentioned, um, they are um, the, the sources directory is made of meta layer, and the one you are gonna work with is uh, the meta layer by Angica, meta Angica, which contains all the uh, support for uh, um, Angicam system of modules. So with a, basically meta Angicam, you get you have all the configuration file and the res recipes. To, to create an image uh, that, could, that uh, could run on uh, Angicam system or model, in this case, uh, on the IAMX8 M+. Plus. There's a com the complete image that I was talking about in the previous slide will be inside the receipts images. So again, the procedure is very easy. I'm gonna show you in a, uh, a few seconds. What you do is to open the Angicam BSP, download the sources, which will be the specific sources for uh, your hardware. Again, in this case, the IAMX8 M+. You will configure the environment and tell BitBake to compile uh, one of the recipe inside the receipts images folder into MetaEngica. All uh, um, MetaEngica as uh, all the other uh, repositories uh, for uh, system and model softwares are available on our uh, GitHub, that is uh, github.com ngcamp stable. So you can also download um, download the code on uh, on your machine and uh, perform the build outside the ngcamp BSP. 
it's up to you. But just um, just to let you know, we, we actually tested the, all the, the compilation and the images on the Angicam BSP. So if you want to be one.